um, it's a lot we need to do. Still a lot of things we need to tight up, tighten up on. Um, we're in a good, great position. Um, you know, um, with everything being so new, so many new guys, and every single day learning something new. So as long as we continue to grow on every single game, every single practice, you know, we're going to be fine. You look at your stats across the board, everything. You know, we talked earlier about how your shots become easier in this system. Are you finding that to be the case so far? Yeah, you know, spacing on the floor is great. You know, I got to give credit to, you know, my teammates, understanding what it be, how to space, when to cut, um, make my job a lot easier, you know, and that's why I always try to go out there and repay them by try to get them easy shots as well. You know, and, you know, and not, it's not just me doing it. You know, them guys help me out a lot to get them easy shots. Well, I know it's only seven games, but do you feel like this game is another step for the most part? I mean, I know that's hiccups, obviously, but like this last game, I know they didn't have Booker, but you had an extra game. Yeah, you know, we just got to build on that. No matter who we go out there and play, every opportunity, whether it's a practice or a game, is an opportunity for us to continue to get better. I understand, let's be better than the previous game before on, on both ends. You know, um, as long as we go out there and play hard, you know, we give ourselves a chance. Is anything weird about a home back and back? Back to back? Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to figure out where, when the last time I had a back to back at home, I can't even remember. Um, I didn't even know things like that happen. <laughs> Does it throw your schedule off at all? Because you got that late game and y'all got to get up. It's a 6.30 game the next day. Um, nah, it's home. You know, so it kind of makes it easier. You ain't got to worry about traveling, um, getting off a plane or going back home or anything like that. We're here, you know, able to play a game, um, get as much rest as we can and be ready for the next day. Patty was saying how y'all held that, you know, got y'all first team under 90 under 100 points the other night. Do you think with the rule changes and everything like that, that it's going to be harder for teams to hold you know, guys under 100 points per season? Uh, it's going to be tough. I looked at the scores last night and, you know, I kind of laughed. You just look at the scores. It was somebody at 135, 120-something, you know, all-star number of points, you know. Um, you know, it's tough, you know, um, adjusting to whenever it's new rules that's in, implemented, especially the new one that's in now, you know, barely could touch somebody, you know, and that, it makes it kind of tough, but it all even, even out, you know. We're not even 10 games in, so I think it all even out, but we just got to build on that, believing that we can keep guys under 100 points. Do those rules work into your favor on offense where you can get to the line a little bit more? And- I mean, I always got to the line, yeah. <laughs> you know. I, ain't ne- I never looked at it like, that was an issue, but you know, it's, it's just it makes it tricky sometimes when you when you guarding a guy, trying to understand what to do, what not to do, um, and sometimes you can pick up a, a quick one, quick two, you know. So that's the that's the tough part about it. Anthony Davis tomorrow. I don't know if he's playing or not, but if he is, I know he's not your problem, but the, the job you're big you're gonna have to do to kind of keep him from going. I mean, he's one of the best in this league, you know, and. You know, it's it's never just a uh, a one man job. It's definitely a team effort. When you got a guy like that that you got to go up against, you know. So if we play tomorrow, we got to understand. You know, we got to all be locked in as five and try to make his job as hard as possible. You see, one of the more unique players, not just best, but unique, just the package he comes in and that body. Yeah, yeah. Without a doubt, the things he's able to do: handle the ball, score the ball, post up, run the floor, athleticism. You know, um, he kind of got it all. Being 6'11", however tall he is, so, you know, it definitely makes it scary. You missed when big guys just stayed the post and that's all they Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember that used to be the league, you know. <laughs> you know, um, when you got a guy like that, it definitely makes it a lot harder. Lamar, a lot has been written and said about how, you know, you've accepted the role here and your teammates. Well, you work both ways. Do you feel uh, that the fans are embracing you and, and the yeah. city is embracing you and your teammates are embracing you? Yeah, it's great, man, from the – the whole organization to the fans, just the whole everybody. You know, um, I always felt like, you know, I had to go out there and prove myself so I could feel accepted, you know, but everybody did a did a hell of a job making me feel like I'm at home. You know, it's great. I know you had your fair share of battles with him in the East. How special was it to see what Derek did the other night? Oh, man, i always been a fan of Derek. Derek, by far one of the most humbling individuals I ever came across, you know, um, so 
you know, I got a chance to play in the FIBA World Games with him in 2014, and, you know, it's when he was making his way back from, from his surgeries and everything. And you've seen the hard work that he put in. So this long road he's been on, to see him do something like that and get emotional afterwards, man, that, as a competitor, as a fan, and that's, that's, that's a true inspiration for real.